Hi everybody and welcome to a squid or ink sack farm which you'll be getting obviously your squids and bones, fish, tropical fish and when it's dark you'll even get your drown spawning so let's get into it we've got two options which I find uh, I would say work the best you got the one with the soul sand to make your bubble column so anything will spawn in here and fall down as you can see here so when the mobs spawn they're gonna fall here so this will help to kill them quicker the magma blocks and they're gonna go down fall into the campfires into your hoppers so all the loot comes in here so you can see this is what you're going to be getting out of the farm. Um, you can see it's not hundreds of stacks of, of items that you get, but there's enough to do what you need to do. And the good thing about this method, with the campfires as well, is that you're going to get raw fish and cooked fish. So you can use that for trading, you can use it as food, whichever. Uh, obviously when the drowns spawn, you're gonna get drown drops now you can put a trident killer in here if you're on bedrock version which will give you much more loot so that will be also a very good option you can see the mobs spawn on the layer on top of the blocks and then the water pushes them down as you can see there the squids and everything that are falling in now you got your spawning spot right in the center over here so this is two chunks gap between yourself and that farm the closer you are the more fish are going to spawn so this will be a good spot in the center here to get your decent spawns so I got another farm this side this one uses the magma blocks with uh, mine cards to pick up the, the loot as you can see and everything goes into the chest over here you can have less chests or more chests up to you but rather more than less Now the difference is here, yeah, the mobs spawn in and then obviously the magma cubes will kill them and it gets picked up at the bottom. So we're going to build the simple one, the easy one to start with. And just a shout out to Austin from our Facebook group who requested this tutorial. This one's for you Austin. So let's get into it. As you can see here, yeah, we're going to just start with the basic one here. Yeah. So this is three chunks, so that's 16 times three by a full chunk. So it's 16 across, 16, 16, 16. That's three chunks in length. And let's get into it. These are some of the materials you basically need for this. And let's get building. So let's quickly put in here. So you need to leave a gap in here, two blocks wide. And you can be using either signs or fence gates to be to holding up the water that's going to be coming down here. So that's up to you, depending on what how many resources you got. The only disadvantage is with the signs, if you break one sign, then all the signs are going to break off. So it might be easier to use fence gates, but I'm going to try to use the signs for this one. So let's get this platform in, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Just one important note that I for forgot to mention. You obviously need to be building this farm far from down there in the ocean. So if you're going to be too close, then you're going to have mobs spawning in there. And obviously stay away from land and everything else. So I would probably go at least 100 blocks above the ocean. Find a nice big open area. You can build up scaffolding or solid blocks, whichever... It's going to be easier for you. Um, this farm obviously uses less materials. This is a little bit more advanced. So using more materials, you're going to need iron, obviously with all the rails and things. So it's depending up to you which one you want to do. They, they The rates are more or less similar. Uh, I haven't exactly compared how much rates you're going to get. But um, yeah, it's all depending. The, the, that changes all the time. So it's just up to you which one will be easier for you to build 
uh, let's just quickly change it to daytime okay now our platform here okay we've got in the soul sand so that you're gonna have to go to the nether to get some over there then we need to first just increase this and one important thing to remember is don't build anything on top of the farm the farm needs sky access otherwise your spawning is not going to be very good okay now the one terrible thing about this you need to cover up the soul sand once you put it in you got to cover this up the reason for that is you got to place the top layer of water that's pushing the mobs down into the, f the kill chamber area so you first cover up this then place the top water so I'm going to do that quick so now that we've got the layer in like this you need to add your water on top over there so obviously this is now going to fall off this is where you need the signs so what we need to do is so every time place your signs or your fence gates whichever one works easier for you just be careful not to break any of the signs otherwise everything is going to be a mess so let me put these signs in and i'll see you guys in a sec okay there we go we've got that in now you can be using uh, water buckets if you like or ice if you have and you can just place down every second block or so like that and then when you break it that will form the water sources otherwise there's buckets and hopefully now when the update comes in they fix this problem that's going to be happening so you just put in your water okay go and do it on this side as well there we go now you can see the mobs already start spawning okay now we need to take out these blocks and then put water sources on top of the soul sand itself but we're going to have to put in some more signs or fence coats so let me quickly do that i'll be with you guys in a second okay there we go now we've got our signs in for both layers now this water will not go out so now we need to take out these blocks. So you can remove these blocks on both sides. And just be careful not to break any of your signs. Okay, so let me quickly take out these blocks and I'll be right back with you guys. There we go. We've got all the blocks removed now you just need to place water sources on the soul sand itself so you just go down and check where you need to place a few and then it should automatically start filling up this bottom layer okay there we go that's going as you start placing the water everywhere it will so usually you just need to do the edges so one edge down on the short side here and then all the way down and then automatically it should fill up everything you can see the bubbles coming up everywhere there we go let me just do it on this side as well bubbles and there you can see how the mobs are spawning nicely 
Let's just go up here a little bit. Obviously, the closer you are, the more fish you're going to have spawning. You usually need to be at least 32, 33 blocks away. So basically two chunks for the squids and things to start spawning. So let's go do our killing chamber. Okay, now, as I said before, the reason for the magma blocks is to kill the mobs or the fish and everything quicker so the more it can spawn. Otherwise, if you put glass or anything else in here, then they're just going to be swimming in here the whole time. Then they, they don't despawn or it, it takes too long for them to disappear. So the best is to use magma blocks. So all we're going to do now is build our little streams. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then build it down. And if you have frost walk, walker boots, I would suggest using that when you're working with the magma blocks so that you don't take any damage. Okay, so that's there. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That one like so. I'll just see how much do I have there now? That's enough. Okay, and then we take some glass and then just fill in some glass here then you can at least see into the farm okay so what we got is three layers going down as you can see here from top it's one two and then three so you're gonna have a center mark over here where they fall into the your killer or the campfires, whichever one works for you. Okay. Oopsie. Just do that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, two, two. Okay, and then another layer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come on. Okay, now we just want to make sure we got the right length here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do this side. Okay, now we can see we can have a bit too long here. So if we take off two blocks over there, that's six there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we should have your four gap. Okay. Oh. Now just surround it. Now you see how the, everything falls in there? So it'll definitely be killing them quicker using the magma blocks. Obviously the hard part with this is now you're working from top to bottom. So you're going to have to build yourself some scaffolding or pathways from where, let's say you started your farm here and you built up scaffolding or solid blocks. You need to build yourself pathways out to each level where you're working just to make it obviously a bit easier. Otherwise you're going to do the old little water trick, place a water down and then you need to position yourself in the water and start placing your blocks. As you can see, the mobs are spawning like crazy. Okay, now for our... Let's just quickly change the time back here. There we go. Um, now, depending on which way you want to 
use the campfires so at least with the campfires you're going to get cooked fish as well which is also useful and for trading otherwise we do the trident killer and then uh, you should be getting more drops okay so all we need to do now is first let's put in some signs there just to drop the so the water will stay put sure I can see all these drops coming through but let's don't put the water in yet otherwise all those mobs are gonna start falling on top of us okay let me just go down a few blocks Just build ourselves a little platform here to work on. Oops, sorry, Mr. Fish. Okay, we don't need that. Don't need that. So your chest is going to be over there. Take that out. And then our campfire. Can put that in like so. Just close it off so that nothing can come out. Okay, now we can make our way to the top of the farm again. And then let's quickly just empty that. We don't need any of this. Whoa, look at all these drops. Okay, we need to place a water block. So be careful now when you're placing water and things in here. You don't break your signs. So let's... Uh, okay, water over there. Water goes that way. You could technically just put one water source on top there and then just adjust your blocks so that it will continuously run down. But that's entirely up to you. There we go. Okay, so those drops are going in. Oh, look at all these drops. Okay, water there. Just empty out all the stuff. You're going to be getting a lot of drops out of this farm. There you can see everything coming in here. Let's just put this in. As you can see, this is just from standing here and busy building at the moment. So it's you can have a lot of drops you can get. The nice thing is, is the bones that you get with as well. <coughs> so you basically got a bone meal farm at the same time. Okay, so now your farm is built. That's that's it. It's a little bit difficult to build maybe because you're building up in the air. But once it's done, it's worth it. Then we just go to your AFK spot. So you need to be at least 32, 33 blocks away for everything to spawn and then the nice thing is there's no redstone involved with this farm unlike this one you've got rails and carts you're using a lot of wood and iron and extra things um, you could build this one first and then later on build this one as well and the nice thing is as you see yeah you can build f basically four of these farms build one big farm going all the way around you And that is it. There, the farm is done. If you guys want me to build this one as well, I can make a tutorial on this one. It's not too difficult to build, except for all the materials and things you need. There's a lot of rails, redstone, and things you need. So, I hope you enjoy your farms. And uh, enjoy all your insects. Cheers, guys.